Welcome to Okami Sigma. This is your Sensei Julius back again for another tutorial video. Uh, today, um, I've decided to, um, you know, uh, share something about uh, divination. Okay, one of the divination tools that is very popular is the um, the runes. Okay, so we're gonna try to re uh, read the runes okay and study the runes so the runes came from all father uh, odin okay and um these are very very uh magical uh characters or um magical runes okay and we're going to discuss uh, their meanings and interpret them. And if ever you decide to use runes for your divination practice, uh, you can try and uh, use uh, the runes from Nordic mythology. Okay, so let's go and um, study some runes. But before we do so, uh, we would like to invite you to support our channel. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, give us a heart, give us a follow, and click that plus button. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and study some runes. Let's talk about the rune Othala. Okay, Othala is one of my favorite runes. Uh, for one thing, uh, it looks like a fish that is rising up. It reminds me of the koi fish that uh, is rising through the waters to become a dragon. Okay, so that's just me. Uh, that's why this is one of my favorites. Now, for the energies of uh, Othala, uh, it represents the energy of knowledge, freedom, Unity, inheritance, optimism, and household. So these are all good energies. That's why I love this uh, rune. Othala or Odal rune represents family ties, legacy, persistence, unity, and tradition. So the word Othala literally means homeland, ancestral lot, okay, and uh, heritage or inheritance. Okay, so it's a German, of course, uh, Norse uh, runes are German, have German origins. So uh, the symbol of Othala rune was used, one of, uh, was used and is one of the symbols used by, uh, you know, in the World War II uh, by Germany, uh, which is kind of, um, uh, brings it to a negative Connotation, but we're not going to delve in that. Um, the other meaning of it is superior, superior race or aristocracy. But th that's not uh, that's not what we're um, uh, going to concentrate on. Just just so you know that it was used in World War II by Germany. Now, Othala symbol is um, its modern use um, has been to uh, literary works several um, soundtracks okay okay but we're not going to um, because there's a negative energy there which is very hateful so we're not going to delve into that so we're just going to leave that and just concentrate on its uh, north uh, north symbolism uh, sim ancient symbol othala is related to uh, those <laughs> okay. Othala is related to uh, those who came before you or your ancestors, your very own ancestors. Uh, it is reminding you of your lineage and uh, how much of a legacy you have. Uh, you know, like I said before in my previous videos, we are... The result of all of our ancestors uh, actions okay so we cannot escape our karma or 
uh, or this legacy that was given to us uh, as a generation, okay, as a human being, um, it would do you more harm than good if you run away from who you are instead of uh, being true to yourself and acknowledging where you came from and you'll by doing that being yourself you will achieve more and develop a higher sense of thinking uh, by embracing your inheritance and surpassing it so i've i've been um i'm thinking of an example i can okay i can um express this uh, through personal experience um in my generation uh and the generations before there were a lot of negative uh uh aspects in our family um what's the closest okay vices okay so we had uh in our family we have people who are uh into alcoholism uh people who are into gambling people who are into thievery <laughs> what kind of family am i from anyway so and uh, people who are into poverty, people who are into uh, manipulation, people are into scamming, um, and people who are into betrayals. So that was done by like all of the negative things that was done by some of my ancestors and currently in the family. So my job as, as a person who has been awakened spiritually, my job uh, is to stop those negative aspects and convert it into something good that is going to be good for the legacy of the family or the ancestral lineage. So if there were like thievery <laughs> so, uh, and uh, some... Uh, some sort of vices so we stop uh we stop the smoking we stop the drinking we stop uh uh anything uh, negative or scamming you know be honest okay you try to be honest you you give effort uh, not to give into vices you know live healthy and uh you know be uh uh, it's up for me to bring in honest living, you know, not be not taking advantage of anybody. So that's my task, and that brings in, you know, something called removing of the generational curses and bringing up the family legacy through honor, integrity, and hard work. So that's that's something that this uh, rune signifies, okay. So that's why that's another reason why this is my favorite rune, okay. So I'm here to bring the next generation to the next level, so to speak, and so are you. If you use this rune, uh, this will bring. Uh, freedom it will free the next generation from the generational curses um, it will give it knowledge it brings your household honor to your name it brings optimism to the next generation and it brings unity to the the, the sons and daughters that are gonna follow right next to me so that's one example that I could give uh, for this rune so if you're uh, doing magic and you want to uh, create your own legacy, this is the rune for you. Now, if this rune comes out of your divination, it means that family is involved and uh, it's all about your legacy and uh, could also pertain to your home, okay? The stability of your home. All right, so I hope you learned a lot from this uh, uh, tutorial for uh, the Elder Futark Rune Othala. 
Uh, if you like this content, we have a playlist on our uh, page. Feel free to follow, share, uh, and support us in our uh, Okami Sigma Universe uh, platforms, uh, pages. Uh, this is your Sensei Jules Chitrowa. Thank you for watching.